Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video. This video is based on law of conservation of energy. The meaning of conservation uh, means the energy is neither be created nor be destroyed. It can transfer from one form to another. Okay, energy is uh, so we cannot to create it. Uh, all energy already here. We want to change one form to another. It's only happening in the case of energy. That is called as conservation. Okay. Then uh, we should express the conservation like that. E equal to K plus U. What is E? E is the symbol for total energy. Otherwise mechanical energy. E equal to K plus U. K is the symbol of kinetic energy. And U is the symbol of potential energy. So mechanical energy equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. The conservation of energy, uh, we should explain the based on a free falling body. A ball is falling freely. Okay, You can to see in this diagram, this is the ground level. The ball is free falling from a height H. This is the position A. The ball is falling from up to B, then touch to the ground C. Okay, In the starting time, the ball is at rest. So U equal to 0. And after some time, the ball is uh, covered x distance and to reach the point B, after some time, it will be come down and touch to the ground at the point C. Okay, so the first position is A, that means the ball is uh, h height from the ground. At the point A, initial velocity equal to 0 because the ball is at rest. So we have to consider at the point A, the ball is stationary. That means the ball is at rest. So ball is rest means they do not have a velocity. So initial velocity equal to zero. The ball is not moving. The ball is at rest. So kinetic energy equal to zero. The ball is placed in a position. That means it have a potential energy. The height of H. That means potential energy equation U equal to mgh. So at the point A, what is total mechanical energy? E equal to K plus U. What is the value of kinetic energy? 0. The value of potential energy? MGH. So total mechanical energy equal to 0 plus MGS. Answer is MGH. Meaning is that at the point A, the total energy of the ball is MGH. Then point number 2. What is the energy at the point B? In the case of point B, the ball covers a distance X. From the A, the ball is covered X distance. The ball is reaching B. So that means A to B movement, the ball is travel the distance is X. The ball is already moving from A to B. So that means the ball have some kinetic energy and potential energy also. So you can to see here, the ball is covered a distance X. The ball have a velocity. So loss of motion, the second equation. V square equal to U square plus 2AS. In this case, V square equal to U equal to 0 because initial velocity is 0 and 2 GX because it is a free falling condition. Acceleration is replaced by acceleration due to gravity and S is the distance. In this case, distance is X. So, V square equal to 2 GX. V for velocity, G for acceleration due to gravity and X is the distance covered. Why we have to use A is replaced by G? Because it is a free falling condition. Acceleration is replaced by acceleration due to gravity. Then, what is the kinetic energy expression? The ball have a kinetic energy because the ball is moving from A to B. So, half mv square is the equation of kinetic energy. Half m v square expression is 2 g x so i should write it as 2 g x please simplify this expression the 2 and 2 will be cancel kinetic energy equal to m g x at the point b potential energy is also present here because touch to the point b the ball is come to a position so p equal to potential energy u equal to m g h what is the h here dot in total h Height means H minus X in the case of potential energy. So U equal to MG of H minus X. So at the point B, they have kinetic energy MGX, potential energy MGH minus X. So what is the mechanical energy? Mechanical energy equal to K plus U. 
k equal to mgx and u equal to mgh minus x. So simplify this one mgx mgx plus mgh minus mgx mgx plus mgh minus mgx this one is positive mgx and this one is minus mgx both are will be cancelled so total mechanical energy equal to mgh at the point a total energy mgh at the point b also total energy mgh then the case of point c the ball covers a distance h and the case of point c the ball is touched to the ground so how much distance it will be covered h distance it will be covered so at the point c the ball is covered the distance h and it is moved from a to c that's the reason it have a velocity so v square equal to u square plus 2 g h initial velocity is zero so v square equal to 2 g h okay similarly kinetic energy is also present present here half m v square v square is replaced by 2 g h so kinetic energy equal to m g h what is potential energy in this case? They don't have a potential energy because it is already touched to the ground. Height is zero. That's why. So total mechanical energy equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Kinetic energy is mgh. Potential energy is zero. So total energy mgh. So what is the meaning is that? We have to consider at the point A, total energy mgh. At the point B, total energy also mgh. At the point C, in this case also, total energy is mgh. The meaning is that the ball is free falling from A to C. Each and every point, the ball to show the total energy is mgh. Okay, I hope you can understand this. And some of the notes for you, it's very, very important. Any ball is projected vertically upward. That means mechanical energy in every point that equal to half mv square. In the previous case, the ball is come down. So each and every point, total energy equal to mgh. The ball is moving vertically upward. Each and every point, mechanical energy equal to half mv square. Next point. Kinetic energy is always positive. But potential energy is possible, positive, as the same way, negative. Kinetic energy is always positive. But the potential energy, neither positive nor negative. Next one. The mechanical energy can be positive and negative. Mechanical energy means combination of kinetic energy and potential energy. Mechanical energy is also positive and negative. But in the mechanical energy is negative, that meaning is that we are dealing with a bound system. Bound system means combined, com completed, in a self, um, like a repeated system. Okay, that is the meaning. The next one. Conservation of energy in the case of a pendulum. What is a pendulum? Pendulum, it have a central point, a length and a bob. We have to aff affect, apply some force. The pendulum is oscillating like that. So the A and B are the extreme points of the pendulum and O is the mean position of the pendulum. So we have to consider at the first extreme point of B. In this point, the bob is come to rest and the total energy is um, attained in a potential way. So u equal to mgh and kinetic energy is come to zero at the extreme position. At the extreme position, ball is come to rest. That means uh, kinetic energy is zero and potential energy is maximum. But in the case of mean position, bob is moving from extreme to mean. That means the bob have a velocity and so potential energy is zero and kinetic energy is maximum. Okay, what is the meaning is that at the extreme position, potential energy is maximum. At the mean position, uh, kinetic energy is maximum. So, potential is converted into kinetic. This is also one of the another example in the case of conservation of energy. Clear? I hope you can understand this. Maybe this video is understandable. It's useful for you. Please subscribe my channel and like it. Thank you.